okay so hi guys sorry i didn't make the little update on what i did this weekend or whatever but unfortunately things didn't work out as planned so i wasn't able to do the avity treatment this sunday like i wanted but anyhow and i did like the wrong thing ever i just washed my hair with the um the kids organics uh ultimate moisturizer shea butter conditioning shampoo you know long word or uh, whatever and then i put in my leave-in conditioner recipe mix that i got from motown girl or whatever but um i just washed it once and then put the leave-in conditioner i didn't even do a deep conditioner or anything because i thought my sister was gonna do my hair but she didn't and my hair didn't turn out as well as i wanted it to so now i know I need time and I need to deep condition it every time that I wash it. So tonight I am going to do the Afro treatment and I lathered my hair once with the Kids Organic, you know, that long name. And then I lathered it with the coconut milk nourishing shampoo or whatever. And now I'm about to apply the Afro treatment or whatever. And Hold on one second while we move. So I wish I could have put this in a better background, but oh well. So I am applying the Apogee two-step protein treatment or whatever. And I took it out of here and I put it in this little spray bottle or whatever so I can shake it up like black onyx and it's Miss Heather Nicole suggested. So it can be all nice and foamy and everything. Um, and so now I'm about to part my hair into the little four sections or whatever and um, apply the protein treatment or whatever and then get up under the dryer or whatnot so um yeah be back in a bit <laughs> oh i'm gonna cut it off and just make it another video because i'm still new at this so anyways yeah be back in a bit guys Okay, so <clears throat> you should wait until y'all are together. Sorry, I was talking to my sister. Anyhow, I tried doing the clips and everything, and it's not working out so well because my hair is just retarded. Um, it's really is longer than this, but the curl is just really tight, and I just I can't get into the curls. So anyways, I'm shaking it up and everything, trying to get it all nice and foamy. Oh, whatever. And. I guess it's foamy enough and I'm going to go ahead and apply it in the sections like they said or whatever and try and clip it back it probably won't work so much but we'll see Okay, so that's that section, and I'm going to go through and do the other four sections and get up under the dryer, and I'll check back with you guys later. Bye! In results, I tried parting it in fours, but it really didn't work. And I'm not know if it's supposed to be this foamy or not, because it wasn't this foamy on everybody else's videos, but oh well, maybe I just shook it up too much. Anyhow, I'm about to get under the dryer. See you in a few minutes. I'm back. 
Um, and as you can see, like, I've been up under the dryer for about 30 minutes or so. And it's like rock, rock hard or whatever. Um, it's not as hard as it is in the back or whatever, but it's still like rock hard up top. And like Black Onyx said, like, it's like gooey and like sticky all on the back of my neck and my forehead and everything. And I just feel really nasty, like... I've never felt this nasty before, so I can't wait to get up in the shower and rinse everything out or whatever and um, get, just get it out of my head and off my ears and my forehead and my neck and my chest. It's just disgusting. Um, so I'm just going to wash it out and then I'll be back up under the dryer for another deep conditioner or whatever to put all the moisture and hydration and stuff back into my hair or whatever. So I'll see y'all in a bit. Bye. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, it's morning time. I so fell asleep last night. I didn't stay under the dryer as nearly as I was supposed to. Anywho, um, just to update you, I washed my hair with the Kids Organics Ultimate Moisturizing Shea Butter Conditioning Shampoo. Lather, lathered it once with the Organics Coconut Milk Nourishing Shampoo. And then I did do the um, Afigee two-step treatment, um, parted it in four sections, made sure I saturated my hair, um, but I realized in that process that my hair loves water because it just kind of sucked it up. And like I said in my previous videos, I've noticed that my hair is very, very moisture deprived because it just sucked up the water and by the time I got to the back of my hair, it was basically like dry. Um, but I saturated it. I tried to put the little clips in it, but I don't know if my hair is just too short, too thick. I don't know, but it wouldn't stay in the clamps. Um, so I tried the clamps, but it really didn't work. I sat up under the dryer for about 30 minutes, um, or so. And the top part of my head got really, really dry. I mean, it was like rock hard, like I said, and a previous segment um the back part um it was dry except for like a little bitty section in this back corner it was kind of still a little damp but not rock hard um <clears throat> i washed it out uh sat up under the shower just letting the water run through my hair for a good five or ten minutes um because i was just so afraid of the clouds messing with my hair um then i pulled them out and i lathered my hair a little bit with the coconut milk shampoo just to make sure i got everything out and then i added in my leave-in conditioner recipe mix that i got from motown girl um but this time i actually remember how i said i said i was going to stop using the do girl products or whatever because they didn't do anything necessarily bad but they didn't do anything great well i looked through the ingredients and i didn't see anything harmful in them and in the actual mega thick growth oil it actually has um <clears throat> Like soybean oil, almond, oat protein, shea butter extract, tea tree oil, vitamin E, um, henna, safflower, like all these different types of oils or whatever. And so I added some some of that and some of the conditioner to my leave-in conditioner that I had already made. And I put that in and I stayed up under the dryer for about an hour and then I started getting sleepy and so I just went to sleep. Um, and so this morning, um, my hair is soft. It isn't dry, dry, but it's not nearly as soft as it was when I just did my initial um, leave-in conditioner, which was just the suave coconut um, shampoo, the vegetable glycerin, and the avocado oil. Um, and I actually set up on the drive for three hours that time, remember? <clears throat> and it's not nearly, I guess, as soft as it was then, but it's still soft. But you can tell it's still a little dry or whatever. Um, so, anywho, it's the morning time, and I'm about to part my hair and do the wild growth oil or whatever that, um, Black Onyx made. I'm about to put that in, and I found some Shea Butter Plus, and I'm going to start using that as my... Um, like daily moisturizer or whatever instead of the vegetable glycerin water mix because I found that it was leaving my hair like really really oily and I really don't like the oily feeling or whatever so I'm gonna start using the Shea Butter Plus and see how that goes the Aphigy treatment um I didn't get the results that I thought I was gonna get um, I thought I was going to kind of be like everybody else with no breakage and barely any hairs coming out or whatever but unfortunately this is what came out. Um, 
it's not that much compared to how much was coming out but this is how much, okay sorry about that i don't have that much time my camera's going dead but this is how much breakage i had um so i'm just documenting this for future purposes or whatever so we can see how my hair does from here on out or whatever so just wanted to let you guys know um update you let you know what was going on or whatever so i guess i'll see you in a bit and update you in a couple of weeks or so all right